guys welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here i have to be a little bit quiet the kids are upstairs just going for a nap jamie's just settling them now i thought i would get a couple of videos pre-recorded for you since we go away on monday it's currently friday um and i don't want to leave you guys without videos while i'm on holiday um so i thought today i made some amazing fudgy oreo brownies the other day so i thought we could make them today i'm probably gonna make two batches to be honest with you because one batch we kind of ate in a day but um, i'm gonna make two batches of that and i'm also gonna make some chocolate cornflake cluster cake things um both of which we can pack up and take with us when we go away on monday yeah i'm going to get my ingredients all weighed out for you guys and we will get stuck in I don't think I'm going to speed this up. I think it'll be a real time thing. So it can be a whole video. Um, and we can just have like a little chatty baking video. I don't know. I'll be right back when I get my ingredients. I'm going to apologise now for the bad angle. I wish I had like a nice breakfast bar or something so you could like see everything. But I don't. So we're just going to make do with our angles. Um, right. <laughs> The first thing we need to do is preheat the oven for 180 degrees uh, centigrade or 350 Fahrenheit or gas for depending on what uh, country you live in, what oven you have and all of that fun stuff. This is the size thing that I'm going to use. I am going to line it with parchment paper today just for the fact that Last time, because these are so gooey, they um, got a bit stuck. So, I'm just going to start. I don't feel like I need that much. But I'm just going to put it in here. You know what? I read somewhere that someone said if you wet the par parchment paper it goes in your tin better so I'm going to give that a go. I don't know if it's gone in better but it's fine. I'm going to use the parchment paper anyway. I'm going to make two lots of this um, just so we actually have some that we can take away with us. Um, right, let me just tidy up a little bit because there's just there's a lot going on. Right, place the butter, sugar and cocoa powder and salt into a microwavable safe bowl. <laughs> I've got all of my bits and pieces here, right? So I need. Let me just move that. What did I say? I needed butter. I haven't got a block, but I do have this bacon spread, which I used last time and it worked perfectly fine. Butter, sugar is just granulated sugar. You know what? I'll show you what the ingredients are and then you can screenshot this um but I don't have whole Oreos I have these crushed Oreos that I got from the cheap shop give a week now so I'm just using them up right what did we say sugar cocoa powder and salt right so we need Because I'm doubling this, so originally you'd need 140, but I'm going to use 280 because I'm doubling it, if I even have 280 grams in here. Oh yeah, yeah I do, that's fine. Oh, why did I do that? Right, 282, close enough. That's good enough for me. Right. That's fine. Um, sugar, you need 300 grams, but obviously I'm doubling, so you need 600 grams. Mm. 
nearly my whole container. It's a good thing I bought 5 kg of sugar on my last shopping trip. Seventy five grams of cocoa powder, but I need one hundred and fifty because I'm doubling. Oh, oh. A quarter teaspoon. Oh, salt, so, obviously. We're doubling. Are you guys going to get bored of me keep saying that? Oh, you guys can't even see what I'm doing. There we go. Just, excuse my pyjamas. We're just, I've been at work, okay? So it's fine. that is definitely everything I need to put in there I feel like I'm the type of person when I bake that I have to check and recheck and triple check and quadruple check the um whatever the hell it's called uh recipe all the time right this needs to go into the microwave to heat for 30 seconds stir well then continue heating in 30 second intervals obviously stirring between each one until combined and very warm slash hot to the touch so we're going to on it into here while my butter comes. I may have to bung it all into the uh, that thing that spins. What the hell is that called? Why does George Foreman keep coming to my mind? It's not a George Foreman. What the hell is it called? KitchenAid. In the KitchenAid, we'll see. We'll see if I need to or not. I do only need four eggs, so it says large eggs. I only have medium, so we'll just make do. So far, for God's sake! This is what I get for trying to make two batches. Why does life, why does life hate me so? Should use the back of my knife. I could get a spoon, but I can't be bothered. Now I've just made a mess of everything. Put that back in there. Another 30 seconds. I literally got... Right, so this is after a minute. The thing is though, I think because I'm not using block butter, mine obviously melts a lot quicker than uh, if I used block butter. So mine is never very warm to the touch. But, oh God, that looks amazing. Can you guys can see it? Hang on, let me open mine. Is that better? Can you see me now? It looks amazing. It looks delicious. What? Well, sugar and everything all over me now. Right. Perfect. All right. Add the eggs and vanilla. So I need my four eggs and how much vanilla do I need? two teaspoons of vanilla extract but I don't have extract I have food flavoring so I will just put in two teaspoons all together rather than doubling it just because this is a lot stronger and teaspoons yeah all right so that in there and just put this away 
and my four eggs until mixed well. These were amazing the last time we made these. Oh my gosh. They were to die for. Should I probably crack these in another bowl and then tip them in? Yeah. Am I going to waste another bowl? No. Add the eggs and vanilla, mix well. Mix well. Me a go, please. side right that's mixed I now need to add my flour which is 60 grams of plain or all-purpose flour that's what makes it gooey apparently the fact that you don't really use very much flour so I'm going to put 120 in. Add it in. Perfect. And this needs to be folded in. These are probably, I mean. The bar is very low, I haven't made very many brownies, but these are probably some of the breast brownies I have ever made. But I don't put them in for as long as it says. It says like 30 to 35 minutes, but I only put them in for like 20, 25 minutes. Smell it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> you okay? Yeah. Do you finally go to sleep? Yeah, you're doing bad. Take it off him again. Right. And now you fold in your chocolate chips. Oh, it says 90 grams. I should do two bags then, shouldn't I? Because if I'm doing two batches, it needs twice as many chocolate chips, doesn't it? Yes. I'm not going to put Oreos in the middle, I'm just going to pour half of the mixture and put Oreos on top. So I couldn't really taste the cookie crumbs last time. I'm doing two bags of chocolate chips. Again, fold them in. I feel like anything chocolate, just you just can't go wrong with it, can you? And it's just the perfect thing. When you're on holiday, have a nice fresh brownie. I mean, it keeps for days. Not that our last batch lasted days, but supposedly it keeps for days. Right. Why do 
of our rubbish. I need this. Right, so I'm gonna put half this mixture into here and then bung some Oreos on top. such a messy baker and cook just I just make a mess whenever I'm in the kitchen let's face it all right now I'm just gonna throw these on top And that is them ready to go into the oven. I'll show you it guys when it comes out. Hopefully it will come out in one piece because I've got the parchment paper there. But wetting the parchment first just makes it so much easier. It's just so more pliable. But I'm going to bung this in the oven 20 minutes, 25 minutes and bring it out and show you guys. Right. Again, terrible lighting. You just... Sorry guys, I'm getting a bit, a bit personal now. that bear for you guys? Probably not, but it's fine. It's just so bright. Why is it so bright when I don't want to do anything? Right. Rice Krispie Cakes. Well, that my first batch of brownies is in the oven, we're going to make Rice Krispie Cakes. I've got my cases and I've got my chocolate. I'm going to do two milk and one dark, just because I bought the dark for a brownie recipe but it's a different brownie recipe and now I don't need it for this brownie recipe and this brownie recipe is really nice so I'm going to use this in this so I'm going to put my water in a pan on to boil while I break these up and then hopefully the, oh moon's outside I'm not really a fan of dark chocolate. I can take it or leave it. It depends how I'm feeling. I feel like this year is flying. Flying by, guys. Um, like, where, where, where's a quarter of the year? A third of the year gone. It's not even a quarter anymore. It's a whole third. But... I just, like I'm 26 next month, 26, I remember like 10 years ago when I was like at school and um, getting my first job like a week after I turned uh, 16 and now look at me, 10 years later, two kids, a husband, a dog, two cats, a house. I'm like a full adult now. And it's just, it's just crazy. And I was talking to somebody at work today and um, I was saying to her, I was like, you see your kids grow up, but like, like you watch your kids grow up and you're like, oh my God, I can't believe it's been X amount of years. And I think you forget that as your kids are growing up, you're also growing up and you're also getting older in you. And it's just, you just forget that don't you you forget the fact that like your parents are getting older and like you're getting older because you just see your kids and like your pets and stuff as they get older and yeah i don't think we have too much planned for my birthday i um i would love to hear what you guys have got up to if you have you know young kids or kids or whatever what you got up to for this half term um we haven't done very much at all i think we went to the park once we went uh we've been out a lot of like for walks a lot of the days taking me around and stuff she's been doing like off the lead 
um, walks around the field. So she's been having fun with that. Um, but other than that, we've not really done anything. Isabella came and did the food shop with me, running errands, washing, umpteen loads of washing. But no, other than that, we haven't really done anything. Because to be honest with you, I kind of refuse to pay the um, astronomical prices of things during half term, which is probably bad. But we wanted to save up and have some spending money for when we go to Skegness this week. Um, Oh, I am doing a car boot. Oh, I love a car boot. Me and Isabella, it's meant to be nice on Sunday, so me and Isabella are going to stay around my parents' house. Jamie and Riley are having a, a, lad's, a lad's night. <laughs> With Jamie and his two-year-old son. Um, me and Isabella are going to stay around my mum's, just because it's easier than you know getting up super early and then having to get Isabella ready and getting the car ready and then going to my parents and getting the car ready. And my mum's stuff in the car just makes more sense to go over there with my stuff in the car, put mum's stuff in the car the night before and then I've just got to worry about getting Isabella up and fed and into the car ready to go but yeah it's just I can't believe it's car boot season I love a car boot, you can't beat a car boot like I think I got this really nice um, oh, frozen nightgown, night dress whatever you want to call it for Isabella the guy wanted 10p for it, it was practically brand new and the guy only wanted 10 pence so i was like blind but i was like deal he was he may as well have just been giving it away at that point but um i feel like there's two sorts of people there's the ones that like sell tat i mean don't get me wrong i know it was like one man's trash is another man's treasure but like people sell literal rubbish on their things and you just think well, why would you not just bin that like some of the clothes and stuff has got holes in or the shoes are just you know what i mean like if you feel like someone can get use out of it just give it away to someone don't try and flog it for something that it's not worth and then they want like three quid for a pair of shoes it's like torn dirty got holes in it's just yeah it's just not not good but then you get the other side when people want people sell brand new kids clothes for like 50p an item and things like that we get a lot of i get a lot of the kids clothes from um car boots and things like that because no no kid are in it for very long like my kids are already grown out of not so much isabella because obviously her growth spurts are getting a bit it's jamie her growth spurts are getting a bit um longer slower whereas obviously riley's still growing like a weed I've got chocolate over my hands. Are you good? Okay. You're messing up my feng shui. Um, you can't just... Uh, but yeah, we love going to car boots. Isabella loves car boots. She's very excited to be going. Um, I've got my float money sorted. Yeah, I have um, got a float money sorted, ready to go. I'm going to pack Isabella a lunch. I need to buy a new uh, hot tea. What's it called? Thermos. A new thermos, but they've got one at Jamie's work for £10 and it comes with like two cups that stack on top of each other. So I think I might get that because me and mum always have cups of tea for car boots. Um, it's taking ages to melt. Jesus Christ. Yes. Not an idiot. Mm. Um. Mm. Um. But yeah, Jamie's not invited to the car boot this week. So what me and Riley are going to have a lads' night. Lads' night. Lads' night. <laughs> They're both be asleep on the sofa by half seven. <laughs> car boots. Can't beat them. Um. The what? I'm leaving that in. Oh. <laughs> you dropped an egg. So guys, if you take anything from this video, you have to give this um, brownie recipe a try. I can't even remember the website of the recipe. If I can remember it, I'll put it. I'll put it in the. Um, 
box below whatever you I can't even remember what it's called whatever that box below is called I'll put it in there if I can remember it because I give you a recipe but I didn't even give you a website to go and have a look on it on but that's fine um like I said I do put them in for a little bit less time and they are they do come out a little bit gooey obviously to begin with but then when they cool down the top hardens and they are divine um again the cornflake cakes you just can't go wrong they're just a fan favorite um in our house and using that little bit of dark chocolate i think it just gave it that little bit of a it wasn't quite as sweet um but there's a few of this <laughs> i mean there's still loads of brownie left but um i feel like four maybe five of the cornflake because of that cluster cake things have gone but they're just the best thing they all just remind me of childhood and like birthday parties and things like that and they're just so easy to make and I use cheap chocolate anyway and they're just you can just make so much for the same price that you're going to pay for like one of them in like Coupland's or Greg's or somewhere like that um but yeah guys I will get a few videos sorted for um the week while I'm away on holiday um, I'm hoping to do like uh, what we pack. I'm not packing Jamie's stuff, and obviously I will do like a room tour and all that sort of stuff. But I, that will be uploaded obviously when we come back. Right, let's try not burn myself. Dun, dun, dun. Beautiful. That looks divine. Right, I'm going to leave that there to finish it cooling down. I'm going to put another bit of parchment in this. It's just, it doesn't stick. Me, it was me. And the second batch is ready to go in. I feel like this one is, there's more in the container. So these ones will be thicker brown than the ones. But it's fine. Right, it's going in. Guys, that is my other one out the oven. I always let them like be undercooked just a little bit. Just so they're nice and gooey. I mean, they're gooey regardless, but we like them extra gooey. But it's going, I don't care. Okay. I'm going to show you the other ones. I'm going to cut up the other ones. Because they should be cool now, and um, I'll show you what they look like on the inside. It's so delicious. This one's still very warm. This one, however, I think will look better. Right, just trying to break it. Oh no!
can you even... Oh. That looks delicious. Nice and gooey. That looks delicious. I'm going to finish letting them cool down. And I'm going to cut that one up and put that one in as well. So we've got them both there. I am just planting some carrots to throw them in the freezer. Um, so I don't waste any. So, um... Yeah, I'm gonna let them branch, blanch, and then they'll get thrown in the freezer. So that's the sound you can hear. Um, but yeah, guys, I will see you in a little bit when we finish doing these brownies. Guys, we are officially at the end of the video. I have got my cornflake cakes. She says if she can open the box. Cornflake cakes have been in the fridge. I managed to make 12 of them. They get eaten before we go, they get eaten before we go. If not, I'll take them with us. And I also have a box of brownie that I will pop in the fridge just to let it finish off um, cooking. I mean, it looks really good. It's like crispy on the top, but like gooey on the inside. It's perfect. But anyway, guys, I am going to leave the video here. Otherwise, we will be spending a whole day together again. Not that I have any complaints about that. Um, but yeah guys I hope you enjoyed the video and until next time